separation season, baby! Got another uh, AM crew vlog coming your guys' way this morning. What we're doing today is we're closing out our testing phase. We've done two weeks of testing so far. This is the last day. We got two guys going for a one rep max deadlift. The rest of us are just doing some light GPP work so that we're ready to kick off the next training cycle next week. That being said, if you're looking for ways to get stronger, increase your explosive power, make your body more physically resilient so you can win more matches and get injured less, I do have a free four week strength program that I'd be more than happy to send you. All you gotta do is click the link in the description below. There's no strings attached, you can just download it for free. Be on your way, start getting strong, start getting jacked. Like I said, last testing day for Zach and Kevin, they're gonna be hitting some one rep maxes on deadlift. Everyone else is doing some light GPP work. We'll be breaking down what GPP is, what it stands for, and why every single grappling athlete should be establishing a large base of GPP. That's what's to come. Catch you guys later in the workout. Today, we're doing a bunch of GPP work for the guys that aren't working up to one rep max deadlift. And GPP is a very important concept when it comes to enhancing sport performance, SSPP, sport specific physical preparedness. And then you have GPP, which is general physical preparedness. And general physical preparedness is all about increasing your, whether you, whether you wanna call it your fitness level, your base of fitness. You think about a pyramid, a pyramid is only as tall as its base. That's very famously said by one of the greatest strength coaches of all time, Louis Simmons. So if you competing or wrestling or doing jujitsu to the best of your ability is the peak of that pyramid, that's directly correlated to the foundation of physical preparedness that you've developed for yourself. Now, your ability to get in hard training rounds, your ability to keep going back to jujitsu, keep going back to wrestling, piecing everybody up, or not getting as pieced up by some of the uh, upper belts, all that is correlated to that foundation of fitness that you've built. So some of these exercises, they're not super heavy, they're not super intense, they're not, they're not extra fast like dynamic effort work, we're not straining through big weights, we're just kind of getting a, a large volume of exercises for a lot of sets, a lot of reps, pretty low intensity, we're keeping it pretty chill. But the goal of that is to improve our general physical preparedness so we can increase our fitness level, which means that foundation that we have to build on is getting bigger. And if that foundation gets bigger, that means the peak performance that we can achieve is gonna be much higher than it was before. So that's the purpose of GPP. The way you, depending on how you look at it, you could say that for jujitsu or wrestling, anything you do in the gym is GPP. Um, and I definitely think that's, that's true. Everything we do in the gym is gonna help increase that fitness base, that, that foundation that we have to be a good athlete. And then from there, we're able to stack on solid jujitsu and wrestling training, stack on some mindset training, stack on proper nutrition and recovery to make sure that we hit that peak performance on the mat so we can win more matches and get injured less.